poetry games you're coming to? Yeah. 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 All right. Well, uh, the year that we are representing here is 1851. The Rayado Settlement was founded three years ago in 1848 by Mr. Lucian Maxwell. Now, currently, we are part of the Bobby and Miranda land grant, and the story behind that is about 10 years ago in 1841. A French-Canadian fur trapper by the name of Mr. Carlos Bobien and his business associate, Guadalupe Miranda, were given a large gift of land by the Mexican government stretching from here all the way up to Trinidad, Colorado, and they owned well over a million acres of land. Now, Lucian Maxwell married into the Bobien family. He was Charles Bobien's son-in-law, and uh, Maxwell later inherits Bobien's land, uh, purchases the rest of the land grant, making it the Maxwell land grant. Thank you. A little bit sweet. All right, let's try that again. Maxwell land grant. That's a little better. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're currently part of the Bobby and Miranda land grant. And uh, one of Maxwell's good friends is Kit Carson, the mountain man at Fur Trapper. We got a Carson here. We got a Carson. All right. So, uh, anyway, uh, Kit Carson was a very well known figure uh, across the country by this point. He was becoming kind of a, a figure of legends in his own life. And so, uh, Lucian Maxwell kind of uh, talked to this uh, Kit Carson fellow into kind of helping him establish the Rayado settlement. Uh, and then he helped use Kit Carson's name wherever he could to kind of promote the settlement, sort of advertise it. Because if people knew that's where Kit Carson stayed, you know, that made them that much more interested in stopping by Rayado. So in addition to be, being a uh, settlement along the Santa Fe Trail, uh, we were also a stopover for wagons coming through here on their way to Santa Fe or on their way back east to Missouri. Uh, the trail runs right past the building where we are today. And uh, if you were here in the 1840s and 1850s, you would have seen lots of wagons pulling into the settlement to make repairs to their wagons, to resupply on provisions because it was still a seven to 10 day journey to Santa Fe from here. Uh, and uh, they might have also been interested in taking a break from the trail. Now it takes about three hours by, on the highway to get to Santa Fe, but back then it was a much longer journey. Uh, there was also a military presence here for two years. From 1849 to 1851, two companies of the first U.S. Dragoons were stationed here. If you're not familiar with the Dragoons, they are soldiers on horseback, uh, similar to cavalry, and they were some of the most uh, elite troops in the army at the time. So they were stationed here to protect the trail. And there were also other traders like mountain men, fur trappers, and Native Americans from the Comanche, Ute, Hickory, Apache, and other tribes who came here to trade their goods with people traveling through. So there was quite a bit of activity here at Rayado. And as far as things that you might need uh, while you're here, uh, if you're in need of fresh water, we have a spigot on the side of the building right there where you see that wet spot. You're welcome to fill up your water there. It is potable. You don't have to treat it with your science tablets. Uh, and then we also have a spigot. Uh, we also have a spigot behind the building as well that you can fill up your water from. Uh, if you're in need of a restroom, if you go through that doorway there, you make a left. We have a uh, outhouse out there. You don't have to treat it like your typical red roof. You can do all of the numbers in there: one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Please don't go number eight in our restroom. Though. Uh, 